Hello, I'm Irene Bruzzini, a PhD student from the Royal Institute of Technology and Karolinska Institute in Stockholm, Sweden. I'm now going to present a study on the creation of a deep learning based pipeline for error detection and quality control of brain MRI segmentation results. Brain MRI segmentation is an essential task in many clinical and research applications, since it allows to visualize the brain anatomical structures and to study their properties. It can be used, for example, to derive measures of cortical thickness or ventricular volume, which constitute important information for diagnosing neurodegenerative disorders, including Alzheimer's disease. Many automatic segmentation tools are currently available, but it is known that they will always be prone to error somehow. That is why it is important to perform quality control on all segmentation results. This is usually done visually by expert raters, but this task can be extremely time consuming and subjective. In this study, we want to propose a tool that can not only give a quality score to each segmentation result automatically, but also create error maps that can help the rater to identify the error locations more quickly. The creation of the segmentation error maps is based on the use of conditional generative adversarial networks, and in particular, the peaks to peaks architecture. The network receives a brain segmentation mask as input and is trained to generate an output MRI slice that has to match the input segmentation. The generated MRI can then be compared with the original MRI image by computing the difference between the two. This difference image can highlight the regions where the generated and original MRI do not match and therefore where segmentation errors could be present. This step is repeated for all slices and all three image views in order to finally aggregate these 2D difference images into one final 3D error map. The proposed pipeline for error map creation showed promising results. In several cases, the error maps successfully highlighted different kinds of segmentation errors. For example, here on top you can see a big misclassification of the ventricles of an Alzheimer's patient that was correctly highlighted in the respective error map. In the third row, there is another example of a much smaller segmentation error which was anyway correctly highlighted. In this specific case also, this error had not even been noticed by the raters who performed quality control visually. There are also some limitations though. Sometimes the error maps highlight certain regions which are not actually segmentation errors, but simple subject-specific anatomical features that the network is not really able to reproduce, as you can see here in the second row. Also, as you can see in the bottom, there were a few cases with cortical overestimations that were not fully detected in the error map. Therefore, in the future, we are planning to try to overcome these limitations. We then decided to train a convolutional neural network to perform a binary classification in order to predict whether a segmentation is bad or not. We used both the original MRI scan and the derived 3D error map as inputs to this network. This convolutional neural network was trained in a supervised fashion using 10-fold cross-validation and 600 brain segmentations that had already been visually checked and labeled by experts as either good or bad segmentation results. Here, you can see the receiver operating characteristic curve that was obtained with this classifier, with an area under the curve of 0.85. We noticed that by choosing a rather low classification threshold, we could achieve a rather high sensitivity with the proposed classifier. This will, of course, result in a higher presence of false positive. In particular, by that we mean that there will be quite many images that will be classified as bad, even though their uh, segmentation were labeled as good. However, as we noted before, our pipeline could even detect some small errors that were overlooked by visual raters. Therefore, we believe that a high sensitivity can often be preferred to high specificity. Thus, to conclude, we think that our current results are promising for obtaining a useful tool for brain segmentation quality control. Thank you for your attention.